the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has recently published the Battery Waste Management Rules 2022 for managing hazardous battery waste in the country. The rules have defined extended producer responsibility in battery waste management and identified the responsibilities of different stakeholders. So, watch this video till the end for a complete overview of the battery waste management rules. Hello, my name is Shalin Verma and welcome to Enter Climate. So, the newly implemented rules have fixed the gaps in the earlier version of the battery management rules by defining many missing terms. The new rules highlights the inclusion of the definition of electric vehicle batteries and the extended producer responsibility. The new rules have also prescribed collection and recycling targets for the producers of batteries who have now been made responsible for the collection, recycling and refurbishment of battery waste. The use of recovered material from the waste into new batteries. The new rules have also prescribed the collection and recycling targets for the producers of batteries who have now been made responsible for the collection, recycling and refurbishment of waste batteries. These rules allow for the creation of separate entities that can manage, collect, recycle or refurbish under the extended producer responsibility of producers. The obligations of meeting the EPR targets will however remain with the producers. Now let's analyze what are the changes brought by these rules. The 2022 rules have defined many new terms like automotive battery, battery pack, end of life battery, used battery waste, batteries, etc. Secondly, the rules have broadened the definition of producer of battery. Now the term producer includes entities involved in manufacturing, selling, importing new batteries or refurbished batteries under their own brand name or procuring and then selling them under their name. In addition to these above changes, the centralized online portal will also be developed in due course of time. Registration and filing of returns by producers of batteries as well as recyclers and refurbishers of waste batteries will be done through this portal. The exchange of EPR certificates between the producers, recyclers and refurbishers will be also made possible through this portal. Besides such changes, the functions and responsibilities of stakeholders in the battery waste management have also been defined. Let's see the responsibilities of producers. So the producers will now have to register themselves through the online central portal and periodically uh, renew their uh, registration. Secondly, they have to submit an EPR action plan every year by 30th of June to the CPCB. More importantly, the producers will have to submit the plan for the battery manufactured in the financial year of 2022-23 within three months of publication of these rules. Also, the producers will have to use a minimum amount of recycled materials in the new batteries they manufacture. In the case of imported batteries, the producers must meet this obligation by getting a required quantity of recycled material utilized by some other business or by exporting the same quantity of recycled materials. Now let's see the responsibilities of refurbisher. Refurbishers will now have to register themselves with the State Pollution Control Board. Moreover, refurbishers must not deal with entities that do not have this registration under these new rules. They have to adhere to the post compliances rules like to ensure refurbishment is carried out in accordance with the guidelines prescribed by the CPCB, to carefully discard the waste after refurbishment by giving it to an entity engaged in recycling, to furnish quarterly returns of used batteries collected or received and refurbished and the quantities of hazardous plastic waste generated. Finally, let's see the responsibilities of recyclers. As the recycler will be dealing with the storage and treatment of used and waste batteries, they have to ensure that the hazardous waste generated is managed as per the hazardous and other waste rules, while the other waste is accordingly managed by the provisions under the solid waste management rules, plastic waste management rules and the e-waste management rules. They will also have to furnish quarterly returns regarding the information on the quantity of waste batteries. The rules have made EPR registration mandatory for producers and also mentioned a certain post compliances for portable batteries, electric vehicle batteries, automotive batteries and industrial batteries. Different stakeholders like battery recyclers, refurbishers have to now take note of these new responsibilities too. 
the new elements like certificates for waste batteries, trading of surplus EPR certificates and the battery waste targets have also been elaborated in these rules. Let's now focus on the provisions of environmental compensation introduced. So the penalties in the form of environmental compensation for violation of the provisions have also been given. Monetary compensation will be levied on violators for non-compliance. Actions like carrying out recycling and refurbishing activities without registration or providing false information and submitting forged and manipulated documents will invite penal provisions under Section 15 of the Environment Protection Act. CPCV can also levy compensation on producers for the non-fulfillment of EPR targets and the post-compliance obligation. In case of non-compliance by recyclers and refurbishers, the power to levy compensation will lie with this concerned State Pollution Control Board. So we see that the rules have focused on the proper handling, recycling and disposal of hazardous and non-hazardous components from the battery waste. These rules will further help avoid any environmental degradation by prohibiting the disposal of batteries in landfills or through incineration. The circular economy in the country around battery manufacturing and the recycling will also get a boost from these rules. In conclusion, the new rules have brought forward the highly awaited reforms that the battery waste management industry needed. So that's all for this video. If you have any queries related to the rules or your business, contact experts from Enterclimate from the details provided below. We are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for a wide range of environmental licensing and compliance solutions. If you found this video informative, like and share this video. Thank you.